I absolutely think it is because right now, the same way we had the industrial revolution, we're now in the technological and communication revolution. And I feel like the market has become oversaturated with everybody else's culture, also imitations. Because you have artists that would hear, uh, they would go to some village in Africa like Senegal, and they would hear a sound or even a way of pronouncing a word, and they would go and take it and Americanize it and sell it in the American market. So I think if we don't use it, we can lose it. So I think it's very important for us to express our culture and own our culture before somebody else owns it for us. I think you can't help but to express it in other countries. It's so intrinsic to who you are as a person and even more so as an artist. So it comes out naturally in how you speak and how you walk in the very like, minute things you do. And then it's like heightened even more when you perform. So you can't really help it. I think it's highly important that we should. We are a kaleidoscope within the kaleidoscope. Our ability to diversify and create art within art is very unique in terms of how we do it here in the Caribbean especially, especially here in Barbados. So to be able to move around, to travel with that, to bring that diversification to others um, gives birth and gives ideas to others as to the kind of culture that we have down here and how we interpret our arts and our crafts. I got more faith. I got more faith in the Navy that's praying for me than I got in you. I know my place. I know my place. So you try to take it from me. Everything that exists don't got to reflect you. Sometimes you add two and two together and you get seven. You tend to overreact and it ain't pleasant. You the living weapon in the assassination of men. I fear my soul want to sink to heaven. If I rise to a level of pity again and again, this got to end. Of course, I think it's important to express Bayesian culture in other countries. I mean, we come from a really small island and a lot of what the narratives about Barbados are come from outside of the Caribbean, outside of Barbados. And because of that, it is really important that we create and control what the narrative is coming from us. Nobody knows Barbados like Barbadians do. Spilling from the black canvas that is my soul, I weep and harvest carns of dubious confetti. I weave tales of history and fiction. I weave tales of grandeur and illusion from dust expelled from lungs to heaving to tired too unrested. Spilling from the blank canvas of my soul, I spill blood to paint trails of art, understood, misunderstood, taken for granted. And though I paint with my soul and try to give birth to my child, I see that you too continue to change like dancing seasons. The oral tradition has been a thing since like five ever. <laughs> and really and truly, it's because language has all of our culture embedded in it without being over much, without being ostentatious. In its rawest and purest form, culture is embedded in our language. And so language, I think, is the best way to share that. And we as performers, we as spoken word artists, have that capability to share it through also our creativity and not just our words. Word is very different um, when you're thinking about the arts. Visually, when you see theater arts, you see, uh, you see uh, portraits, paintings, you already have the visual and you have the idea and the story. Words are different. Words give you an ideal to work off of, so you then have to create and visualize the concept that the artist is trying to put forward or the idea that you think they're trying to put forward. That in itself creates new art. So bringing that to life and being able to perform that is very, very important and carrying it overseas and having that diversification from the Caribbean aspect of spoken word and poetry to create that new ideal and visualization will also create curiosity as to what would have created the conceptualizations, ideals and words that were used. This poet is not made to order and there's a good chance you're gonna get more than you bargained for. She is passionate about poetry, fascinated with how the words flow free, how they wind in chaotic choreography, gliding graceful like gazelles across your sensory Serengeti, arousing impactful imagery in your imagination. Yes, this is less poet in plastic and more untamable lyrical lioness. This, this is priceless, invaluable, even if you do not see a designer label. This is dismantle the stereotypes rather than perpetuate toxic thinking. This is do away with pretty in pink, would much rather halt archaic teachings. This, this is do away with that Barbie doll logic. And just so you know, this product is non-refundable. So I think through words, we can help to dispel the myth that, you know, Barbados is just sea and sun and sun and a tourist destination. We can show like what authentic Bayesian culture is and change the mindset that our culture is just there for consumption. So I think it's very important. 
I think word is a very powerful tool because all of human tradition and history has been passed down orally. Um, it's only now that we've really immortalized our language, our culture, our symbols through the internet. Well, we always use books, but I don't think the material used was as formidable as now. So I think the spoken word is, is, is a very genetic evolutionary trait that we've used for thousands of years. So whenever you're expressing or telling a story or telling the culture of a people through something oral, I think it resonates way more than if you're using a different art form. That might be just my bias because I'm a spoken word artist. I tried to mend my broken English, dress it up with European nuances, French pauses and Italian sonnets, but still I find myself trapped in redundancies, line breaks and societal chains been done waiting for you to accept this tongue. They won't expect the revolution to come from us, like they didn't in 1816. And we won't be gifted with a victory from a colonial queen when you hear us speak. Another hundred years of deconstructing a patriarchy, decolonizing a colony, we will already be free.